And here's my inline block heater, water heater, and the old B275 tractor. It's in line with the bottom of the radiator. It's in the bottom of the radiator right in there if you can see it. You can drop them because into the water pump. So the, she hasn't heaten up. It's only a year or so old. Couldn't have been a very good one or something. It wasn't turned on dry or nothing. So anyway, what we're gonna do we drain the radiator, we put a hose on the pet cock in the bottom of the radiator hose and then hose down just into the, the bucket to drain the antifreeze out of it. And then we got some screw drivers we'll take the clamps off there, haul the heater out, and I'll show you to you the second we get it out. Tight little spot at the bottom and down there to get that. A stubby screw driver. Get all this framework out there. Can't get a long screw driver in, but anyway we got them loosened up now, so now we're gonna try to wiggle that hose off. Here's the inline block heater off the tractor. As you see, it's just like a little heating element in there. So here's a 600 watt, I believe, 120 volt, yeah, 120 volt, 600 watt inline heater. Uh, plugged it in, it's just nothing, nothing I took apart. There was power getting to the side, so it's not the cord. 117 volts, so I was getting there, so I'd say it's something else burn out inside. So let's go get a new one now. Here's a new lower radiator hose, inch and a half. $62.32 plus tax, $70.42 total. So now we'll put her on the 600 watts. And there she is installed, three clamps on her, and he freezes back in. It's probably the part there that's bad, who knows. Some kind of a capacitor or something, a resistor, capacitor. 